energy plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. From the warmth of our homes to the functioning of our phones, energy is the lifeblood that keeps our societies running smoothly. It powers our industries, heats our water, keeps our lights on, and even enables global communication. But what happens when energy supply becomes uncertain, or when we face challenges in how to produce and consume it sustainably? Energy consumption in the UK has seen some significant changes over the years. Energy is consumed across four main sectors – domestic use, industry, transport and services. The amount of energy consumed can fluctuate year by year, depending on a variety of factors. One key event that impacted energy consumption in the UK was the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020, the UK saw a dramatic reduction in total energy consumption. This was largely because businesses closed, schools shifted to online learning, and travel restrictions were enforced. As a result, energy consumption fell by about 13% when adjusted for temperature compared to 2019. This reduction highlighted the direct link between energy use and human activity, and how disruptions to society can have immediate impacts on energy demand. So, how do we generate the energy we need? In 2020, the UK's total energy mix was composed of various sources. Oil made up 40%. Natural gas accounted for 36% and renewables contributed 15%. Nuclear power provided 6%, and coal was down to just 3%. Over time, we've seen a shift in this mix as the country moves towards greener alternatives. Energy security is essential for maintaining economic stability and ensuring that we have access to affordable and uninterrupted energy supplies. The UK, like many other countries, relies on both domestic energy production and imports to meet its needs. Energy security is about more than just availability. It's also about affordability, accessibility, and acceptability. Let's break these down into the four A's of energy security. Accessibility. Can we easily access energy when we need it? This refers to the infrastructure and distribution networks that ensure energy reaches homes, businesses, and industries. Affordability. Is energy affordable for everyone? If prices rise too much, it can impact people's ability to pay for basic needs, like heating or powering appliances. Availability. Do we have reliable energy supplies? Energy production must be stable and consistent, whether it's from domestic sources or imported supplies. Acceptability. Is the energy we consume safe and environmentally responsible? This covers concerns about the environmental impact of energy sources, including carbon emissions and safety standards. Energy security impacts every aspect of our economy, from the price of consumer goods to the stability of the global market. Disruptions in energy supply, such as those caused by international conflicts or natural disasters, can significantly affect living standards. Energy security is influenced by several key factors. Physical environment. The availability of energy resources is often determined by the geological and physical condition of a region. Some areas are naturally better suited for energy resource development than others. Costs. The price of energy is impacted by both economic and political factors. Technology. Advances in technology play a crucial role in energy security. Innovations can either unlock new sources of energy or enhance the efficiency of existing resources making energy production more reliable. Political factors. Energy resources are traded internationally, meaning political issues, such as conflicts or environmental regulations, can have a significant effect on the stability and availability of energy supplies worldwide. Renewable energy is derived from sources that are sustainable and will not run out. In the UK, renewable energy sources in 2021 were as follows. Wind, 28%. Bioenergy, 61%. Solar and geothermal, 5%. Heat pumps, 4%. Hydro, 2%. In 2020, 
In total, renewable energy usage in the UK amounted to 24.36 million tonnes of oil equivalent. So, what are the advantages of renewable energy? Firstly, renewable sources are sustainable. They won't deplete over time. This makes them a reliable long-term solution for energy production. Furthermore, renewable energy is less likely to be impacted by international disputes, as many of these resources are locally sourced. Another significant benefit is that renewable energy causes very little air pollution, helping to maintain air quality and reduce the effects of climate change. Additionally, the development of renewable technologies creates job opportunities and maintains costs at typically lower than those of fossil fuel-based power stations. As renewable energy use increases, it can help stabilise energy prices, contributing to enhanced energy security. However, there are also some challenges associated with renewable energy. Many renewable sources are dependent on weather conditions, such as wind or sunlight, which can be unpredictable. Some renewable technologies are less efficient in producing electricity compared to traditional methods. Large-scale renewable projects can require high initial investments, making the upfront costs significant. Certain renewable energy developments, such as wind farms or solar arrays, require substantial land space and can have environmental impacts. Wave energy harnesses the movement of the waves, whereas tidal energy uses the natural rise and fall of the tides to generate power. Geothermal energy taps into heat stored deep underground, which is then used to generate electricity through geothermal power stations. Wind energy is captured by turbines, both on land and offshore, to create clean power from the wind. Hydroelectric energy is generated from the movement of water, typically through dams or rivers. Solar energy captures the sun's heat and light in solar panels to create electricity or heat water. Other emerging technologies include hydrogen fuel cells, which can store energy like batteries and power vehicles, and biomass energy, which uses organic matter like wood, straw, or even waste to produce heat and electricity. Among the most exciting renewable energy sources is tidal power. The UK has one of the largest tidal ranges in the world, but remarkably, we use so little of this vast potential. Tidal power involves harnessing the energy created by the rise and fall of ocean tides, which is both predictable and reliable. Plans for a multi-billion pound tidal barrage scheme have been proposed by Northern Tidal Power Gateways, NTPG, across Morecambe Bay and the Dodden Estuary in northwest England. This £10 billion project is designed to generate clean, renewable energy and create a vital transport link between Haysham and the Furness Peninsula, as well as providing a shorter crossing from Dudden Estuary. The 130 turbines of the tidal barrage will produce enough energy to power up to 2 million homes, equivalent to the output of a nuclear power station. The barrages will have navigation locks for shipping and fish passes for local marine life. The road crossings included in the project will reduce journey times from North Lancashire to West Cumbria by 75% helping to alleviate the traffic congestion on the M6, especially during the summer months. This reduction in travel distances will save 750,000 litres of fuel annually and provide over £200 million in cost savings for local residents and businesses. The generation of emissions-free energy could also lead to a saving of £370 million a year and a boost of £400 million for economic growth in the region. The tidal barrage may also offer a route for power and communication cables, further enhancing regional infrastructure. Additionally, the project is set to create up to 13,000 jobs and open opportunities for local businesses. The improved access to the Lake District is expected to boost the local tourism industry, contributing to the regeneration of both Lancashire and Cumbria. Despite these potential benefits, concerns have been raised regarding the environmental impact Morecambe Bay and the Dodden Estuary are areas of significant environmental importance and NTPG will work closely with environmental protection agencies to ensure that the development is carefully monitored and the natural environment is preserved. Proponents highlight the UK's untapped tidal energy potential 
with one local politician noting that the country has one of the largest tidal ranges in the world, yet uses only a fraction of it. While the project promises long-term green energy benefits, its future will depend on addressing both the economic and environmental challenges, with one of the main challenges being cost. Tidal power is much more expensive, up to 10 times the cost of onshore wind energy. The technology is complex, and maintaining equipment that can withstand seawater is costly. The scheme could also damage important and sensitive wildlife habitats, and the RSPB has encouraged energy companies to find solutions that avoid damaging these valuable environments whilst producing clean and sustainable energy. The energy trilemma refers to the challenge of balancing three key goals in energy policy. Affordable energy, ensuring that energy is cheap enough for consumers and businesses. Energy security, guaranteeing that there's a constant and reliable supply of energy. Environmental sustainability, reducing emissions and protecting the environment. Critics argue that the tidal power project is a waste of money. At an estimated £10 billion, it's seen as an uneconomic and environmentally damaging venture. With construction set to take 25 years, existing infrastructure will face increased pressure. Some believe the project could help regenerate Barrow and Furness and boost tourism in Cumbria. However, many locals disagree, saying the area is already overcrowded in the summer. They fear it could worsen the local economy as people leave Barrow to work in nearby Morecambe or Lancaster. The proposed development of Morecambe Bay and the Dudden Estuary could transform the northwest of England, showcasing tidal energy as a model for the rest of the country. While the scheme is costly, it promises more than just renewable energy. It will create new transport links, provide skills-based training, and offer much-needed jobs in areas like Barrow and Furness, where high levels of poverty and unemployment are pushing young people to leave. Additionally, the barrage will help protect against climate change by reducing tidal surges and flood risks. However, the region's unique biodiversity, including sites of special scientific interest and areas of outstanding natural beauty, raises concerns. The environment supports vital industries like fishing, tourism and shipping. And alternatives may exist that are cheaper and have less environmental impact. With so much at stake, is the project worth a significant investment? <laughs>